A metallic bar of Young's modulus thus and a coefficient of linear thermal expansion length 1 meter. So the length is 1 meter. Area of cross section is 10 to the power minus 3 meter square is heated from 0 degree to 100 degree centigrade. So it was so this is at 0 degree centigrade and this is at 100 degree centigrade. Okay. Without expansion or bending. So at 100 degree centigrade the length is supposed to be L is equal to L naught 1 plus alpha T like delta T. So L naught is the natural length the initial length alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion and delta T is the change in temperature. So this is equal to 1 meter into 1 plus alpha which is 10 to the power minus 5 per degree centigrade into delta T which is 100 degree centigrade gone gone so this is going to be and 100 so this is going to be 10 to the power minus 3 so therefore delta L is 10 to the power minus 3 meters okay now this bar is supposed to be at this length at 100 degree centigrade okay but now what we have done is we have fixed the bar okay and we have not allowed any compression or any expansion so that means that we we have kept the bar till here only that means that this bar is actually you know it's behaving like as it as if it is compressed okay by how much 10 to the power minus 3 meters okay because at 100 degrees centigrade it was supposed to be this much but we have kept it this much only that means this length is compressed okay so now since uh, it is a compression case so therefore we have our uh, same formula y is equal to f by a divided by delta l by l so what's y y is 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 11 newton per meter square this is equal to f by a e is 10 to the power minus 3 meter square into uh, l 1 meter delta l is 10 to the power minus 3 meters gone gone so therefore force is equal to so this will go there as 0 0.5 into the meter square meter square is gone so 0 0.5 into 10 to the power 11 minus 6 which is 10 to the power 5 Okay. so this is basically 50 into 10 to the power 3 newtons okay so 5 into 10 power 4 15 to 10 power 3 so therefore the answer is going to be a thank you